רבותיי, מסכת ברכות, עם דף כ"ח עמר א', כוח! That's how you're going to remember the daf. It's a beautiful daf, by the way. He speaks about over here a, a very beautiful case with Rabbi Zera and Rabbi Nathan Bartuvi. I'm just going to tell you right off the back what the whole machlokin over here was. If a person didn't dive in Musaf up until the seventh hour of the day, let's say around one o'clock or two o'clock, and then he has the opportunity now to dive in Mincha, on Rosh Chodesh, on Shabbat, on the Yom Tov, whatever it is, what does he say first? Does he daven Musa first? Or does he daven Mincha first? Rabotai, this Gimor that I'm about to show you is going to show you what does it mean to do Chazara. And not just to always run, 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 just to want to learn more and more and more because you should know that is the Yei Tahara. The Yei Tahara, Davka tells you go learn more and learn more because he knows you're going to forget what you learned previously. And that is the worst thing you could ever do. Rabotai, I want to just show you something over here. I'm going to read the whole piece and then I'm going to Try to emphasize what I'm trying to bring out, but let me just show you the machlokit. Rabbi Zeriki have a chalish migirse, have a azav vayet of apitcha de Rabbi Nathan Bartuvi. When Rabbi Zeri he felt sick, he felt not sick, he felt weak. He couldn't continue learning. A lot of us, what do we do if we don't feel well? Unfortunately, whatever it is, we don't want to do mitzvot. We don't continue learning. Right? We're not even going to listen to shul. We're going to try to waste our time. Rabbi Zeri, no, he felt weak. He couldn't learn. What did he do? He wanted to make some mitzvot. Because in Simon Kuvdun Hay, it says that the, the fact that a person sits in the base measures, you get schar just by sitting. Even if you don't understand one word. The fact that you're in the base measures, you get reward. Rabotai, he says over here, what did he do? He went and he sat by the doorstep of the base measures of Rabbi Nathan Bartuvi. Why did he do that? Amar, he said, When the rabbis, every time it chacham, it's going to pass by, what am I going to do? I'm going to get up. At least for that I'll get schar. If I can't learn, at least let me do something in order to get schar. Why should I waste my day away? Now, Rabotai, I'm not speaking about when a person already learned eight hours, whatever, he's tired, he wants to come over. I'm not speaking about that. I'm speaking about a person, you know, sometimes in the morning you get up, you're not in the mood, but you have to put yourself in the mood. Who's ever in the mood to work? Nobody's ever in the mood to work, especially Monday mornings, you want to go to work. But you force yourself because you know you have to pay the bills. Same thing over here, Rabotai. So he says, Navik at Rav Nathan Bartuvi. Rav Nathan Bartuvi came out. Amr lay, Rabbi Zer said to Rav Nathan Bartuvi, Manama halacha be midrasha. Who in the base of Medrash said that the halacha is like Rabbi Yehuda, that you first have to daven Musaf, and then you have to daven Mincha? Just to give you a real, real quick background, the Tanakhama holds the opposite. You first say Mincha, and then Musaf, if you didn't daven Musaf on Shabbat or Rosh Chodesh, etc. But Rabbi Yehuda says, no, you first say Musaf. And then Mincha. Halach is first you say Mincha and then Musaf. Rabbi Tai, I don't want to get into all the details. But the bottom line, he wants to say, who said in the base measure? He heard somebody say, who said in the base measure that the Halach is like Rabbi Yehuda? You first say Musaf and then Mincha. I'm Lehach, I'm Rabbi Yochanan. So Rabbi Nathan said to Rabbi Zerah, he said, this is what Rabbi Yochanan said. In Halach ki Rabbi Yehuda. The Halach is not like Rabbi Yehuda. You heard wrong. You heard that the Halach is like Rabbi Yehuda. No, ain't halacha. The halacha is not like Rabbi Yudam. Right? The Amar Mishpah Adam Shal Musaf Ve'achat Kach Mitpah Shal Mincha. That he said you first daven Musaf and only then you daven Mincha. Amar Lehi Rabbi Yochanan Amar Amar Lehi Amar Lehi Rabbi Yochanan Amra Rabbi Zer said to Rabbi Nathan Bartuvia Who? Rabbi Yochanan said that statement? That the halacha is not like Rabbi Yudam? Rabbi Yudam, listen to what I'm telling you right now. Your mind, I'm telling you. If you guys don't... Oh, man, if you don't appreciate the sound... No, it's just... You, ha you have no idea. You'll see why. Amalei in Rabbi Nathan Bartuvi said, Yes, Rabbi Yochanan said it. Watch this, Rabotai. Tana minei arbein zimanim. Rabbi Zer went and he learned his halacha from, from Nathan Bartuvi. How many times? 40 times. You know what 40 times is? Rabotai, when was the last time you learned something? Two times. Forget about 40. Two times. We know it. Amoraim, Tanaim. They review. What, what was he reviewing? Watch this. I'm a Rabbi Yochanan and Halakha ki Rabbi Yehuda. I'm a Rabbi Yochanan and Halakha ki Rabbi Yehuda. I'm a... Forty... Well, you didn't get it after the first time. You don't get it. After the fourth time, you didn't get it. After, Forty times. Now, both time we have to try to see why. Why forty times? And that's we. We, Baruch Hashem, we know everything. One time, we always want to listen to five million lectures. Chidushir, uh, Chidushir. Here we go. One ear comes out the other ear. You understand? People don't realize that the eight hour doesn't sit over here. The eight hour sits over here. It should never enter into you. You could be in your mind, you know, you have to do the right thing. You have to fear Hashem. You can do this. You can do that. But 
The heart. The Yitzhar is in the heart. He will not let anything penetrate there. But when you over and over, when you make it penetrate into your nisham, into your whole being, then you start changing. Rabotai, why is the whole thing, why is it so important? Shh. Look what the Mesifta says. What's 40? What's the, why, what's, so, what's the number so secret about 40? Huh? He says over here, Shanir be Masech Tanit, Dav Ched Amur Aleph. We had Reish Lakish. Right? Reish Lakish. Sideret and Mishnah Arbaim Pamim. Keneged Arbaim Yom Shedet Nabahim HaTorah. Reish Lakish would arrange his Mishnah. He would learn his Mishnah Yod. Forty times. I'm telling you, Rabotai, we do it one time. We don't want to come back to it. Baruch Hashem, we passed it. Ah, Hashem Yerachim Aleinu. Ah, Hashem Yerachim Anas. Rabotai, he did it 40 times. Why? Because the Torah was given to us in 40 days and 40 nights. He went with the number of the Torah. Rashi says over there, why do you have to do it 40 times? You can't do it less? No. She'asake kedeshitit kayem biyado. Reish Lakish, you know, who, you know how big he was? He still did it 40 times. Why? Because he wanted it to be in his hand. He wanted to remember his learning. But we, Baruch Hashem, we know our learning. We don't have to tell him more than once. We don't have, you don't have to tell me more than once. One time I, I'm good. But they did 40 times. You see from over here, Botai, the more you do Chazara, the more Anava you have. Because you see, even though I know I'm still going to do it. But people that don't do Chazara, you see how much Gava. Why have to do it? I did it one time. Why have to do it? Why you have to get paid every single month? Why have to make every... You got $100 just a second ago. Why not I'm one, another, another 100 Another 100 You just made 100000 Why do you need another 100000 We will always want. We don't realize that, that that yearning for wanting more is only for one thing. It's for Avodot Hashem. For learning Torah, for doing mitzvah, but we use it for everything else. For drinking, drugs, sleeping with women, doing virus. We do everything just the opposite, Rabotai. Not knowing our Nisham wants to go back to its original source, which is Hashem. Rabbi Sai, he did it 40 times in order for the Torah to stay by him. But we have a problem. Rabbi Adabar Hava did it 24 times. And he remembered his learning. Why 24 times? Why? He says... Tanakh, if you take the whole Tanakh, you take Hamishah Kumshay Torah, Nevi'im and Kituvim, there are 24 books. So he did it 24 times in order that the Torah should be by him. That was him. Rabotai, now I just want to go, you know, a lot of times a person complains, I can't remember, Rab, I can't remember. I tell, honestly, Rabotai, how do you want to remember? You don't have a book open in front of you. You don't have a pen in front of you. You don't have a highlighter. You have nothing. You sit there, you come over there, you have sushi in front of you, Gushgija on this side, Pov on that side, Bach on that side, you have whiskey in front of you. Rabbi, Kagda Moshe Rabbeinu Prisho Atuda, Chom Prinosu. Why do you care what Moshe Rabbeinu brought over there? You know the Allah Kusuk Maruk. You ask the Rabbi what, what happened. Rabotai, person needs to know, Rabotai, to be able to hazard on the learning, meaning Halachot and Gimor, Rabotai. All this, everything is nice to do, but you first have to do what's important. I want to read for you. In my second Sanhedrin, what it speaks about, a lot of times you have a person that he learns, he learns, he learns. What is the accomplishment of that learning? Don't forget, I'm not telling you not to do it. You will get your reward. The only question is, how much of that Torah do you retain? Rabotai, there is such a thing that's called, Davar Hashem Biza. That the word of Hashem, you ashamed, you degraded. A lot of times we have a person, right, Hashem says you're not allowed to be Michal Shabbat. You're not allowed to touch another woman, you're not allowed to look at another woman the wrong way. Etc. All these affairs, we see people doing it. We say, Ah, Rasha, ah, Greshing, ah, evil men. Rabotai, I'm about to introduce you to a very small concept. Rasha, this is what you call on him, Rabotai. I have bad news for you. This that he's shaming the word of Hashem also applies to people that do not review, do not review their learning. Look what he says. Rabbi Yushua ben Korcha, Rabbi Yushua ben Korcha says, Call Alomed. Call Alomed the Torah, anybody who learns Torah. Ve eino chozer aleha, and he does not review it. Dome le adam shezorei ve eino koter. He's compared to a person that he plants the seeds, but he does not harvest. He does not reap it after. He has a lot of uh, stalks and everything. He does not go, he doesn't, he doesn't leave it. Sha'av sha'amal bezeria, even though he toiled in the planting. Kevin she'eino koter, since he's not going to harvest. And beyond the kum, nothing is left in his hand. Kachzer, Rabotai, so to this person, Tamil Kach, whoever you want to call this guy. She'ein a chozer, that he does not review his learning. And beyond the kum, he has nothing in his hand, Rabotai. Yeah, the one time you learn it, you learn it. But Rabotai, is it with you? Is it with you 1 million percent? No, it's not Rabotai. 
That's what you forget you're learning. You forget you're learning only because you don't do chazarot. And that is the Yitzhahara's way. Rabbi, let's learn something new. Rabbi, let's learn this. Rabbi, let's learn this. I'm going to tell you right now, if I'm not mistaken, Rabbi Yecheskel Levishin says, people do not realize, right, on, on, uh, on Yom Kippur, Shad Ni'ila, right? El, no, Harila, right? We start singing, right? The rabbi says, get up, Basher Husham, Mikabal on yourself, Kabbalot, then you're going to do this, you're going to... Rabotai, Baba, my Rabotai. Mikabal, what on yourself? What are you accepting on yourself? The more you accept on yourself, the less you're going to do. Rabbi Cheskin Levis says, that's all. if I remember, I remember it was him saying it. And Rabotai, just the opposite. You throw away the Kabbalot. You don't accept upon yourself Kabbalot. You take the Kabbalot that you are able to... To, uh, to tackle, not everything about that. One guy took, I'm going to do Chumash, I'm going to do Gwam, I'm going to do Shokhan, I'm going to do Mishabura. Next year, what would you do? Nothing, it was too much, man. But had you just taken one thing about that, you would have built on that, you would become much greater. And this we don't see, that's the Yitzhah always says. Uh, learn Daf Yomi, learn Mishnah Yomi, learn Chumash Yomi. You learn that Yomi. You learn so much, you don't even know what's in your head. Why not take one thing and know it good, cold? I'm not telling you that to learn. Learn everything in your spare time. Instead of wasting your time, learn, learn that in your spare time. But make it fixed time to be able to learn something fixed. Have a project in your life. How many people today finish uh, well, one masachet in their life? At 50, 60, 70 years old, Rabotai. Rabotai, I'm not chas criticizing anybody, Rabotai. I'm trying to give us motivation. We have to wake up. All we do is sleep. All we do, we have all the time to work. We have all the time to sleep. We have all the time to eat. But when it comes to learning Torah, no time, Rabbi. I'm tired. I'm tired. I can't do it. You cannot do it. I bet you something would happen, something that good, you would be able to do it. Something happens right now, you have to go, your car broke down, you have a flat tire, you're never going to, you're going to have to work. What are you going to do? You have an option? Rabbi said, this is Rabbi Yishu ben Korcha. But the next opinion is even harsher. Rabbi Yishu, I mean, Rabbi Yishu says, Kol alome Torah umeshkacha. Anybody who learns Torah and he forgets his learning Torah, domeli isha she yoleded yiladim, she's compared to a woman that gives birth to children, she brings them to this world, and she buries them. Look how severe it is. We just don't realize this, Rabotai. Why is this one worse than the, the first one? Why is this one worse than the planting? Over here, she went also through the pain of bringing the child into the world. Nine months carrying him. And then the labor pain. Rabotai, the same thing we. By that time we get it the first time, we go through so much pain. And then we leave our learning. And that's the problem. The learning will only become sweet to you when you're doing it the second, third, fourth, five, fifth time, Rabotai. And then you have Rabbi Kiva, Rabbi Kiva, the last opinion of Rabbi Kiva. Rabbi Kiva says, Zamer b'chol yom, Zamer b'chol yom. Rabbi Kiva says you should sing every day, you should sing every day. What does that mean? He explains over here, a lot of times a person, you have certain songs that you love. You like to re-listen to it. Even though you already know, or know it, you listen, still you like to re-listen to it. Rabbi Kiva says like this. Tihira gile sader ulachzor al talmudecha. Be accustomed to go back and to review your learning. Even though you already know this like a song, you already know this proficiently. Still go over it like a song. This will bring happiness to you in the next one and song. Rabotai, in my humble opinion, when a person does chazara, even the chacham say it, Rabotai, when a person does chazara in this world, you bring sweetness to your learning. Because you're doing, because now you want to just be close with Hashem. Bezrat Hashem, Rabotai, maybe you be zoiche, to be able to do chazara. I'm telling you right now, anytime you have a new thing that comes to you, and you want to jump at that project, think a hundred times, should I do it? Did you have something? Did you, start, you start Mr. Berura, you start Mr. Yomi, you start uh, Dav Gimor, I don't know what you started. Rabotai, focus on that. Once you have that, move forward. Once you have that, move forward. But do not try to have ten fingers in your mouth at one time. Baruch